All right, welcome back to a discussion about the Fox MT80AZ microprocessor trainer for learning assembly language programming. Okay, so in the last video, we loaded a program into the, uh, into the memory. Uh, this is uh, the program that loads the accumulator with zero, uh, copies the accumulator into the B register, uh, complements the uh, A register and outputs to port FF the contents of the accumulator. Uh, we decrement the accumulator by one. Uh, we increment the B register by one just for fun. And then we do a jump relative uh, back to um, location uh, 1804. Um, that's this is the code for jumping back uh, a certain number of steps, which you actually have to hard code in. So what we're going to do is uh, run this program. So we're going to go PC. So we're starting at 4000 and press go. And recall that the LEDs kind of dim because the Z80 is running this program very quickly and it's decrementing the accumulator and uh, latching its output to this port. So you're just not seeing the uh, um, uh, the LEDs change state because uh, it's happening too fast. So one thing we can do is something called setting a breakpoint. And uh, so we're going to reset, start this over. Um, and that we can set a breakpoint within the program to allow us to run the program up to that breakpoint uh, and then see what's, uh, what's happening. Um, and then we can continue to run the program and, and cycle through, in this particular case, um, the program um, one loop at a time or one decrement of the accumulator and we'll be able to watch the uh, LEDs change state. So how do we do that? Well, uh, first we'll go to the address uh, at the start of my um, program. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a breakpoint here at the um, uh, at the output just after the outputting of the uh, accumulator to port FF so that's going to be it we're going to set the breakpoint at 1806 uh, in my case uh, the memory will be 4006 so let's do that so we'll go 4006 okay and uh, 3d is my uh, decrement the accumulator op code and then there's this handy little button called set breakpoint here, which I'm going to press. So what that is doing is the monitor is now a applied a breakpoint in the program. Uh, and you can tell it's a breakpoint because all the decimal points are lit. So if I were to walk back through the program, I can see that I don't, I don't only see the decimal points, you know, here in the address field. But when I get to that breakpoint, uh, now I have decimal points everywhere. So I know that's where the, the breakpoint is. Okay, so so what? Let's uh, um, let's see how this works. So we're going to reset. Uh, we're going to check that the program counter starts at four thousand, which is what I want. I'm going to press go. All right. So if you look down here, you see that the all the LEDs are lit, which is what you expect. The accumulator was set to zero, but it was complemented, so all the bits are one, and the program latched the output of the accumulator to this port FF, as it's called, and uh, stopped at this point here um, just after loading the accumulator. Uh, I'm sorry, loading the port with um, the accumulator value. So now I'm going to press go again. And what's happened is the program has um, run to the end where it had the, um, the jump command, jump back to where it decrements the um, where it decrements the or outputs the the um, the value of the um, accumulator uh, to the port to port FF, and and um, and it has already decremented the accumulator. So uh, I'll, I'll say that a little clearer here in a second. So um, so there you've got um, all the LEDs except this first one is lit, which means it, it, this is uh, you know one bit less than a full. Um, a full set of ones on the uh, accumulator. 
And one thing we can do is we can look at the accumulator and we can also look at the, the B uh, register. So there's a button here called reg, so that's register. So it's gonna ask me, what register do you wanna look at? So the first button here says AF. Well, that's, A is for the accumulator and F is for flags. So I'm gonna press that. So this, these two hex um, digits are the value of the accumulator at the moment. This is um, the this is a binary rep or a hex representation of the flag state. We're not interested in that right now. And then over here in the data display, it's telling me I'm looking at the accumulator and the flag uh, register. Uh, I can look at another register, um, the B C register, and I can see the B register is 01 and uh, the C register is 00. And again, I don't care about that. So this is telling me that the that indeed the B register was uh, incremented. And let me go back and show you the uh, accumulator register. And FE, that's one less than FF. That was that uh, initial complement of the, of the zeroing out of the accumulator register. So that appears to be working. And I will do this again. So we'll start at uh, here, the program counter is already there at 4006. I'm going to press go and keep pressing this, and you can see that there's decrementing of the accumulator uh, as displayed on the port. So, isn't that cool, right? Okay, so um, that's it for now. I'm going to um, talk a little bit on the later on the next video about how do you um, dump and load programs onto a cassette player, or in our case, into an MP3 player.